Hi guys, my name is Anna and in today's video I will show you the house I stayed at when I was working in Kinshasa, the capital of Democratic Republic of the Congo, located in Central Africa. The company I worked for was renting two big houses for its foreign employees. The house where I stayed was a two-floor old building behind a high fence with barbed wires. And this is very common in Kinshasa for a safety reason. Also, we always had a policeman at the gate of our house and a local guard living at the territory of the house. They were there to make sure that no one from the street can enter the territory of the house. In the yard we had electricity generators, because electricity cuts happened very often, sometimes several times a day, and sometimes there was no electricity for hours. So we had to use generators very often. There were also containers in the yard where rainwater would accumulate, because water cuts also happened from time to time, then this rainwater was used to take a shower. We had a huge palm and a couple of avocado trees in our yard. And this is our policeman collecting avocados. In the house there were several rooms on each floor. Every worker had a private room. I will show you one room as an example. Some of the rooms had a bathroom, some didn't, then we needed to use a common bathroom on the floor. But every room definitely had an air conditioner, because otherwise it is hard to survive in Kinshasa. The climate there is humid, tropical, with 9 months in a year of rainy season and 3 months of dry season. During the rainy season, the weather is hot. In general, it is around 30 degrees Celsius during the day and around 23-25 degrees at night. And usually it rains every day or every other day, though it's not that it rains from morning to evening. The weather can be sunny, then the clouds can come very fast, you have a crazy heavy rain for an hour or two, and then the clouds can be gone. After such rains, you can see water rivers in some places of the city. And during the dry season, the weather is a little colder, but still they have summer all year round. Okay, let's come back to the house. There was a common kitchen on each floor and a place for ironing. Also, I want to tell you about water in Kinshasa. When I came there, I was told that the tap water is not clean, that it comes from the Congo River, and that it is not really filtered properly. So for drinking, cooking, and even for washing fruits and vegetables, we bought water in 19-liter bottles that was supposed to be clean. Though even the bottled water wasn't always good, it's necessary to look for a good producer. We bought one 19-liter bottle for $2.5. And my colleagues told me that they don't use tap water there even to brush their teeth because they start to decay right away. They used bottled water for this too. Quite often geckos were sneaking into the rooms. We had a local cleaning lady in our house that came to work six days a week. She cleaned the house and its territory, washed all dishes and cleaned rooms when new people were going to arrive to the house. Those were her responsibilities, but our workers usually asked her to clean their rooms too or iron their clothes, giving her some tips. There wasn't a specific amount, but usually it was around 5,000 francs, which is like $2. Also, I was very lucky because apart from the rooms in the big house, there was a small annex on its territory, and that was a small separate house which was very luxurious comparing to other rooms. The girl I came to replace in that company was living in this pretty house, so after she trained me and left, I moved in. And this house was absolutely beautiful. I will show it to you. It 
had a living room, a kitchen, a bedroom and a bathroom and it was nice and cozy. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was interesting for you. You know, before going to Kinshasa, I tried to find videos about the city and I saw that there is very little information about it. That is why I decided to make this series of videos for the people that decide to go there for work and for those who wonder what is life like in this part of the world. You can find the link to the playlist with other videos about Kinshasa in the description below and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!